Hey, this is Steve at Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm going to walk through using Dabble Lab skill templates to create an Alexa skill. Uh, the um, if you go to DabbleLab.com, all of the templates you can find under the templates menu here, and these are all free to use. Uh, we mostly built them for learning, but they can be also used as like a starting point for a custom skill that you're uh, you're building. And we try to keep them updated as um, changes happen on the uh, the Alexa platform. Sometimes that affects these templates so we, we try to keep them updated but in this tutorial i'm really just going to walk through how you would use them not going to get into what uh, each of them does but um, they it starts with this really simple one which is almost the same as the template that you would get if you uh, started a new skill from the ask cli or from the alexa hosted skills and so we're going to use uh, i'm going to talk through this with um, uh, Alexa hosted skills being how you would host the skills. And if you're not familiar with the, uh, the difference, um, so you can create skills using uh, the Alexa command line interface, which is like a command line CLI tool, or you can do it through the web console and uh, you can host the backend for skills either on AWS or you can host them uh, as part of, um, uh, it's still AWS, but like through the Alexa console. And that's all free, so I'm gonna focus on that for this. So for starters, you wanna pick the template that you wanna use. And in this case, I'm just gonna pick the Alexa basic starter template. Again, they're free, but you do have to log in to download the template. And if you don't have an account, you can just um, create an account by clicking this need an account down here. And then you wanna log in. And uh, once you log in, um, you'll have access to the, the template to download the source code. And then um, also there's a tutorial for each one of the templates that kind of talks through uh, using them. And uh, there's down at the bottom an area where you can um, ask questions. And, and this is new. So if you have any questions as you're going through the tutorial, just leave those down here and we will try to answer them as quickly as we can. And so for starters, you just want to download the source code. And this is going to be downloaded uh, as a zip file. So we'll take a look at that here. So you just want to unzip that. And then there's really two files when you're um, setting up a skill using the Alexa hosted skills. Um, there, there's really two files from here that you, you're you gonna be using in most in most of the templates. But I'm gonna come back to this just because we'll get the skill started uh, and then we'll come back and I'll talk about what's, uh, what's in here. So now we wanna head back over to the browser and go to uh, developer.amazon.com and you do need a, an Alexa or an Amazon developer account to, to do all this. If you have one, go ahead and log in. If you don't have one, you can create one. They're free also. And then once you've logged in, you want to navigate to the Alexa console. And you can do that by going over actually up here and then the Alexa developer console here. And I'm not sure why this is taking so long, but there we go. All right, and so uh, from the Alexa developer console, we're gonna start with just a, uh, a generic Alexa hosted skill. And so to create a hosted skill, you just click the create skill button and we're gonna call this, um, uh, well, demo skill, how about be pretty generic. And then uh, it's custom skill and it's an Alexa hosted skill for Node.js. All of the templates right now are Node.js. So uh, that is, a note here so we don't have any python templates yet but that is something that hopefully someday we'll um we'll, we'll have as well and then create skill and this process here takes about a minute so while this is happening i'm going to come back to uh the um the template itself and just talk about um what you're going to need out of this so the the template is set up to work with um, the ask CLI. So if you're using the command line interface, you can just uh, go into the template root directory and then use all the ask commands from there. So uh, ask deploy and provided that the ask CLI is set up properly, uh, that's all you, you need to know. Um, but for Alexa hosted skills, there's uh, 
two files that you're going to want to copy and paste the code from to use the model which is right here and also the um, the code for the uh, the the lambda the back end code which uh, which is here this index.js so we'll start by copying the model and pasting that into our model in the uh, the hosted skill so you just want to open that up with a text editor I'm going to use um, Visual Studio Code, but you could use just text edit or whatever you're comfortable with. And then in here, uh, just select everything and copy it. So copy and then um, go back over to the browser. And then from after the skill is done creating the, the hosted skill, you'll be looking at a screen like this. And from within this screen, under the um, the I don't think it's under the intense menu but on this left hand side here you want to go to this JSON editor here and then you want to select everything in there and paste in what we copied from the template so just like that and then save the model and then we'll build the model while we go and copy the back end code. So that takes a minute also. So while that's working, we're gonna go back over here to the template that we downloaded. And now we're gonna find uh, the index.js file. And same thing, I'm gonna open that up with Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna copy all of this. And then I'm gonna go back over to my Alexa console. This is still building, but while that's building, I can go over to my code here and then find the same file, index.js here, which is the default that it'll open. Select all of that and then paste in the code that we copied from the template. And then here we want to save that and then uh, deploy it. So this is going to push it out so that it is accessible to uh, to our skill front end that's what's happening now and uh, we'll go back over here I'm pretty sure yeah the build is finished so um, that's it at this point we're ready to test the the template this is a really like I mentioned earlier this is a really simple template so all it really does is ask hi what's your name and then when you uh, provide your name it says uh, nice to meet you um, so let's uh, let's test it. Uh, to test it, we would go to the test menu here and then enable testing for development. And then um, we need the invocation name. Oh, I forgot to talk about that. So let me let's pause testing for a second here and go uh, back over here to build. By default, the um, well the invocation name is in the interaction model that we uploaded. So uh, you can see it up here under invocation. So uh, the basic starter is what we call this template. So when you want somebody to open your skill, you're going to want them to say, you know, something like uh, Alexa, um, ask skill name uh, or skill invocation name something. And in this case here, that uh, skill invocation name is basic starter. So you would change that for your skill. And you can also find that down here. So it's in the interaction model here, but you want to change that. Uh, I'll use this for testing, but I just wanted to point that out. So we'll go over to testing and um, we've got testing enabled. So I'm going to just do basic starter. So this would really be like um, open basic starter or like you don't need the Alexa part, uh, but um, then enter. Hi, what's your name? And then I'll enter Steve. Hello, Steve. It's nice to meet you. And that's it. So um, again, this really simple template, the other templates are uh, quite a bit more robust and there's more uh, stuff in there, but um, this one is just a, a starting point. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I will respond just as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching.